thank you everyone for coming today. Uh, we're very excited to have some participants from the Honor Flight Rochester program here to talk with us. Some of you possibly know Mr. Teal King, but maybe you don't know his father, Mr. Teal King, and also Mr. Perchetti, who um, has come in a few times to talk to Mr. DiCarlo's classes as well too. Before we get started um, with them telling us more about their experiences with Honor Flight, and possibly about their experiences in the military. I just want to take this moment to thank all of our veterans. So Lawson and Maya, would you come up and would you give all of our veterans one of the pins here? So could you give one to Mr. Teal King? And what do you Ooh, want to say? Thank you. Maya, would you give one down here to Mr. Perchetti here? Thank you. Thank you. What impressed me about the World War II Memorial was the uh, stars, the, the uh, gold stars. And I found out that each one of those gold stars represented a hundred men that got killed during World War II. So there's 4,400 gold stars on that World War II memorial. And it, it's a very emotional thing for some of us that was in, in battle and saw so uh, then I, I went over to uh, see the, the uh, uh, Iwo Jima Memorial, and that impressed me too. And I got a little emotional there because I watched them raise that flag on that Mount Suribachi twice. Mm -hmm. I was aboard ship that morning. In fact, I have a log that I made. I, I had a little diary that I made starting from the day we went on commit, our ship went in commission until the day I got discharged. And I, I wrote that in there, and I think it's a February 23rd, 1945, at 10.35 a.m., when they raised those flags. They raised the flag first, and then they pulled the one down. And uh, I think the only reason why they pulled that one down because Joe Rosenthal wasn't ready to take the picture for the flag raising. The receptions that we got were phenomenal. Yeah. First, when we got to Baltimore, we went through a kind of a gauntlet of Army, Navy, yes. other officers, admirals and generals, all kinds of gold braid who saluted us. <laughs> Then, when we got back, oh my God, at the airport, oh, the reception that we got there, wow. In fact, I still get emotional when I uh, think of some of the things that I saw and whatever. But uh, they have done a great job with the honor flight. And it was amazing the way we were treated. It was really. I, like I say, uh, I just just got very emotional when I was down there to see all that stuff. For every veteran who pulled the trigger, there are ten veterans that were behind them who were, who were supporting uh, in one way or another. So the majority of veterans um, were just as essential to any anything, uh, any effort that occurred, but um, weren't necessarily right in the front line. So it's all of them. It's a team. And, and that's what Honor Flight's all about. 